Civic organizations tonight are coming forward to help an East Price Hill hate crime victim. That's after disputes with neighbors led to a swastika on Ralph Ford's front door. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live on Wells Street with the problem and possible solutions. Tom? Well, of course, this swastika has shocked this neighborhood. Cincinnati police are conducting an investigation. East Price Hills Block Ministries wants to mediate the dispute. And the Cincinnati Human Relations Commission, well, they're looking into this situation as well. But Ford, who is Jewish, says he's not sure he really wants to live here anymore. Ralph Ford moved to East Price Hill two years ago and found Well Street to be an inviting place. At the time, it was very ethnically diverse, and we didn't have problems. But slowly over time, different people found out, you know, the way I believe and the way we live here, and it's just gotten worse. Ford says neighbors flattened his car's tires, and he saw them siphon gas from the vehicle. I didn't call the police. I bought a blocking gas cap. The problem stopped. A Jewish religious symbol, the mezuzah, is inside now instead of its normal outside location. I try not to publicize who I am and what I believe, but with the hatred, it's just sheer hatred. Then came the final straw, the swastika on his front door. The swastika to me is, is evil, is a prejudice thing, ethnic cleansing type of thing, and it really hit me close to home. It really bothers me. I, I fear. Why is this happening? Well, Ford says he calls District 3 if he sees trouble. When I see the prostitution and the drug deals right here in front of my home, I call the police. Some neighbors who wouldn't go on camera refer to him as a snitch. Cincinnati police confirmed 10 calls for service or runs to Ford's address last year and seven so far this year. Still, Kalila Davis says she can't believe someone would stoop so low. It just doesn't make any kind of sense to go around and disrespect people's homes and disrespect the neighborhood also. Despite that, Ford says he's had enough. Everyone should feel safe in their own home. Uh, and I, we do not feel safe here. Now I just spoke with Rabbi Michael Wolf of Temple Beth Messiah in Loveland where the Ford family worships. He says they're prepared to also lend as much support as possible. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live in East Price Hill.